Bernard, a few days ago, the legendary Ferdinand Alexander Porsche, the designer, the originator of the incredible Porsche 911, he died, 76 years of age. And I can't think of another car, let alone a sports car, that has a legacy, both as a road car, but also as a race car, of the Porsche 911. It's just um, amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Around the world, the 911 is the car to have if you are in GT racing. Uh, it is a very good package. The car is maybe not in all the details the best, but the overall package makes the car so competitive over all these decades, and we are very happy to race this car. You know, I know many people in, in motor racing, Formula One, sports cars, GTs, and the idea of putting the engine in a race car behind the axle and make it work and make it quick and make it win, what does Porsche do that's so correct to enable them to win with a car which nobody thinks should win? Yeah, in the beginning this car was very difficult to drive because of the oversteer. Like you said, the engine is behind the rear axle and uh, with a lot of uh, suspension work they managed to get the car now uh, in a way that it is to drive more easily but uh, in any case compared to some other cars the car is uh, yeah some drivers say it's like a beast so you have to work with the car to get it fast but once you are used to this it is a very very good car and it gives uh, you the chance to win races and of course also you've got the legendary Porsche reliability. So when you go of to course. Porsche and you pay your, it used to be Deutschmark, but now you have to pay these things called Euros. So and you go buy your, have them. Yeah, well, okay, some people say so, some say not. But anyway, we are happy. you're happy. You buy your 911 GT3 RSR, you put it in the transporter, you drive to the racetrack, you peel it out, turn the key, and it runs forever. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. In any case, you have to, to, to keep an eye on the life cycle of the parts. So uh, if, you, um, if the parts are worn, they can't last. So you have to change it in the regular uh, foreseen cycles. But once you do this, you can be very, very successful in endurance races. For example, in the Spa 24 hours, we did a lot of class victories with the 911 in GT3 and uh, yeah, the secret is uh, if you prepare the car in a good way, you have no additional pit stop, the cars are very good in fuel consumption and this is the reason why we have been so often able to win the spa Franco Show 24 hours. Now we're talking about a, a very practical view of Porsche. I've got a very personal view of Porsche because I've owned a 911 RS Carrera it's 1973 manufacture. I've owned this car now for 38 years. I've never had a relationship in my life as long as that, but I've had it with my Porsche. Yeah. Have you had a relationship of this length or even any time? My wife and I, we are married 31 years, so it is not far away from But her this. name is not Porsche. No, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're right. It's if, if you have such a car, and, and uh, uh, you uh, uh, treat it well and, and, and you uh, do all the necessary uh, uh, revisions, then you can you have this car forever. It's, it's like you say, a very, very stable car as a race yes. car and also as a street car. You know, all the Porsches are designed for being race cars, even uh, if you buy them as a street car. You have a good car to go to track days and so on and so on. This was the idea uh, in the early times. So Porsche Motorsport starts from buying a street car, taking this car for uh, the normal things during the week and going to a racetrack on the weekend, putting some other tires on and having some fun. And now uh, 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 all these uh, uh, aspects are still uh, alive and this is the reason why the Porsche also today is a very good race car, very reliable. Now, I've told you about my dream Porsche 911. You tell me, please, what is your dream Porsche 911? Which my one, dream? Which one would you like to own, above all, over what, nearly 50 years of, or more than 50 years of manufacture? I think uh, uh, the, the uh, old types with the... Uh, um, 
uh, not water cooled uh, engines. Ah, proper Porsche fan. Yes, uh, 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 so the 964 is a good car. Uh, but okay, today uh, uh, the 991 is the last model, the actual model. Of course, it's the car to have. So I think uh, uh, Porsche is able to adapt any time to the competitors. And so, uh, yeah, you should do the same. Well, I've certainly done so, Bernard, and I hope that you have a nice collection of Porsche 911s and many others, particularly the air-cooled ones, because being emotional, and I remember as a child it was air-cooled four-cylinder engines that I heard many years ago, and it's the air-cooled engines that I love in Porsche. Uh, they no longer make them because they've had to make progress in other directions, but the new Porsche, the one I've just seen recently in Stuttgart, it's absolutely unbelievable. But it still has the roots of yeah. the car designed by Ferdinand Alexander Porsche, Bootsy Porsche. Absolutely. The spirit is still the same. The spirit is still the same behind these cars. Yes, you're right. And long may it continue. Yes, hopefully.